Welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and today we'll talk about a little feature that is um, running programs as administrators. Windows 7 is one of the most secure operating systems uh, to date from Microsoft. Um, actually now we have Windows 8 which is uh, as secure if not maybe even a little more. Um, so what happens in Windows 7 is that most programs run with a user privilege but not necessarily all of the privileges needed to run correctly. For most pieces of software you don't need to change this and programs will just run just fine. But if you have older pieces of software that need to write files at areas where actually Windows 7 doesn't want you um, an example of that, in Windows XP, programs could basically write all the files and all the data needed anywhere on your hard drive. From the root of your hard drive to any types of folders, even in the Windows folder. And the big problem with that was that the, for the security reasons, it's not a good idea because it means any program can write anything anywhere. So they started doing some protected modes of folders of main files in the computer. So for most programs they were rewritten and adapted for that use but for some old pieces of software that you might want to install the problem is that if they want to write to the root of your hard drive they might not work well. Uh, for example I have a piece of software that tracks uh, satellites in orbit it's really good, but the problem is they didn't make a version um, for Windows 7 specifically. And what happens is that software wants to write down at the root of the hard drive, C, um, satellite definition files. It just can't. So they never update unless you run them as compatibility mode, but also as administrators. So how do you run a program as administrator? It's quite easy. You just right click on any icons of the program that um, you have. So for example here I want to run for example this piece of software Ham Radio Deluxe in administrator mode. I'll right click on it and you'll have run as administrator in the list. Same thing Sometimes they say, well, you need an elevated command prompt. Well, it's going to be the same thing. You'll want to click, go into all programs. And when you get into the uh, accessories and get the command prompt, you can right click on it and run as administrator. So uh, these are ways to actually run programs in administrator. So if your program doesn't run well, doesn't save files like it should, try running it as an administrator because it might give it the privileges needed to actually run correctly. Um, be careful not to give administrator privileges to pieces of software that you actually don't know what they are because if you give administrator privilege to pieces of software that are malware you're in trouble because you just gave almost you know, the, the, the piece of software can do whatever it wants because now it has administrative um, privileges which really give it much more importance. So um, that was a quick and easy way to understand how to run any piece of software in administrator. Just right click on that software and look at run as administrator. And a little note here is that some pieces of software don't have the run as administrator available. Usually all the pieces of software that are really written and done for Windows 7 will not have that possibility because they are already running correctly. But pieces of software like for example the My Ham Radio Deluxe which is older and did not have a version for Windows 7 has that possibility because in case it needs to write files at areas that usually Windows 7 just don't, doesn't want you to. So I hope uh, this helps in understanding a little bit 
a little bit more about Windows 7. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. If you enjoy our videos, click the subscribe button. And uh, hey, if you wanna, um, if you have a feature you'd like to see reviewed, uh, let us know, and we'll try to put a video online for you. And uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye bye.